All right, let's look at an acid chloride reacting with ethylamine. And the question here is going to be, why do we need at least two equivalences of amine, or excess amine? Let's look at the mechanism and see why that is. It'll be clear to you pretty much one of the byproducts of this reaction, right? Because we know the product, we know the product's going to be, hopefully, we know, right, it's going to be this, right? But what else is the, what else is a, what else is a product? Just by looking at the atoms, what else did you make? You made HCl. Oh boy. That's where the problem is. What's HCl? HCl is a acid. And the problem is this. Once this reacts the first time, imagine you have three things in your beaker. You have this and this. Right? So one, one reaction, what, one of these molecules meets up. You have acid chloride, you have, oops, acid chloride, amine, and HCl. What's the most reactive species of those three? So what's the best electrophile breast nuclear? What's the most reactive species of those three? HCL. HCL. And what is HCL? Is HCL electrophile or nucleophile? Is it electron rich or electron deficient? Rich. HCL? H plus, right? H HCL becomes H plus. It's electron deficient, right? It's an acid. What do you know about acids are all electron deficient? That's a problem. Why is that a problem? So now this is my best electrophile. What's an acid chloride? Is it an electrophile or a nucleophile? It's an electrophile, right? The carbon of the carbonyl is electrophile. But now this isn't my best electrophile. This is. What's my nucleophile, right? The, the amine is a nucleophile, of course. What's the amine going to react with? Which, which electrophile? The most reactive one. So that's the problem. That's why you need to have, when you do this, this kind of reaction, you need to have a lot of this around because every time you make HCl, you need to react it with an amine if you want another amine to come here, right? So that's why you need two, right? So you need one amine to react with all the acid chloride, and then you need at least, at least one more that's gonna react with the HCl, right? So that's why you need excess amine. But if you make H plus, don't you make Cl minus? Yep, then that's gonna be, a, then that's even better because that's going to be a salt. So what you're going to make then, is something like this, right? A lot of times they'll add, sometimes they'll add pyridine in. And what you've made now, this thing, is a salt. Are salts going to necessarily be soluble in organic solvents? Nope, so now it's going out of solution. So it's like a solid crashing out of solution, which is just like a gas bubbling out, and that's going to help shift equilibrium. Exactly.